Hello, I am Yogi Nisunita and this is Meditation, Yoga and Stuff podcast. I believe my dharma or my life's purpose is to share my understanding of meditation, yoga and Ayurveda, holistic healing science of India. I make these amazing wisdoms accessible and adaptable for present time. So let's start. Hello and welcome to the podcast. Today I'm going to talk about uh, wisdom of Ayurveda and its understanding of food, our digestive fire and uh, taste and things like that. So uh, Ayurveda is a healing science from India and its understanding of our health as well as our food uh, is amazingly beautiful. So from Ayurvedic point of view, uh, food, everything has three gunas or three qualities um, or they come under three qualities. Uh, for the, these three gunas are sattva, rajas and tamas. And uh, sattva means balanced state, rajas means active um, happening state and uh, tamas means inertia or, or non-happening state. And this is, uh, these three states are everywhere in our life. We can look around and if we put these glasses on of the qualities of gunas uh, from Ayurvedic point of view, these gunas are also from um, uh, yogic point of view as well. And these gunas are everywhere. So let me explain uh, in our context, in our human being, uh, what is um, rajas? Rajas means active state. That means happening state, state where we are active, we are moving around, uh, we are doing stuff, we are working uh, mentally, physically, uh, all the, the happening state, emotionally, uh, all the happening state is rajasic. And the sleep, the rest, the laziness, all that comes from the tamasic state. And we need a balance of this. So if we do too much of the activity, we may feel burnout and then we will have to go to the complete meltdown. And that is the going towards the tamasic state. So this yo-yo happens in a lot of people's life if there is no balance. So how does balance come into play? So we can choose activities where which are calming activities. For example, if you do meditation regularly, then your productivity increases. How does that work? So if you are very uh, in happening state, if you're doing too much, it may set anxiety, it may uh, cloud our mind with a lot of uh, not having clarity basically. And when we meditate, we start uh, understanding what is my priority, what is most important. So the clarity comes through meditation. It is. It looks like a non-happening, but it is still happening. It's that balance of happening in a non-happening state. That's what meditation is. Similarly, you can do like Tai Chi or yoga practices where, or Qigong, all these practices, uh, you are active. At the same time, you are bringing stillness into your system. So these these practices are those sattvic practices. These are balanced practices. Now you may ask, what is what this has to do with the food? So everything in the universe has these energies. That means our food has these energies. So you may find that after eating some food, it sits like brick in our stomach, and we don't want to move. So that is sitting in thamasic state in our body or lethargic state. Um, you may notice that after drinking a cup of coffee or things like that, uh, you, you know, the activity you feel like, you know, you can do work of uh, like, like so much work that you can go on and on forever. Obviously, that doesn't last. There is a crash and burn at the end of that. But some foods can bring that kind of like activity, the active state. Uh, it also almost said some food almost bring in burning sensations, heaty sensations, and that's all rajasic food. And then there is sattvic food, which is balanced food, which where 
it is amazing to digest it gives us long lasting energy it is uh, it is kind on our digestive system it is uh, it is giving us all the seven seven dhatus dhatus means tissues um it will take uh, another episode of podcast to talk about that so i will uh, do that some other time later it also satisfies our all six tastes these six tastes are uh, necessary in our uh, all our daily food and if we don't have that then we have craving so this understanding of having regular seven these six tastes is very important and having them in balance way um in is very important so the satvik food is also known as trayadoshik food is very very nourishing energy giving satisfying and we don't need a lot of this food because it satisfies our need so this is the satvik food or trayadoshik food now you may ask what are what is the six states i was talking about so according to ayurveda there are a six states a sweet sour pungent bitter astringent and salty out of these only sweet and salty mostly uh, in our modern days diet and we need to bring in all the six states so what does that mean like should we just start eating all these different tastes and it it won't make sense to our system so what if our diet which we are eating have all these tastes so you will uh, and if you also may ask like if there are these gunas these three gunas um rajas tamas and uh, in sattva so does that mean that i stop eating all the rajas tamas food that's not true as well you can add few things you can um uh, delete few things so that you can create a balanced diet okay so you look at our um kitchen as a lab and it's a lot of chemistry really happen there so can we add a few things and reduce few things to help to reduce uh the uh, few things from the diet for example let me give you example of potato if we deep fry potato we are increasing its um, so the potato grows underground so it's tamasic right it is it is non it's heavy even we look at it we can see it's heavy it grows underground so when we deep fry it we are creating this uh, more heaviness into it so it is not kind on our digestive system yes it is good for from the from the tongue point of view and uh, but when we fry it it is not really it it sits in our gut so what if we uh, steam it and then add a uh, few things in it so that like uh, mustard seeds and cumin and a little bit of turmeric and chili uh, a little bit of chili and a little bit of um, salt and mix that really nicely add some sort of greens like uh, chopped parsley or uh, chopped uh, cilantro or coriander and have this as a as a little bit with your other food then it is digestible so we can create this digestion uh, thing then also we can uh, squeeze a little bit of lime on that and that will even aid our digestion a lot so all these things we can do to make food uh healthier and and also make it balance so this is what the concept of satvik or trayadoshik food is now the six taste in uh, they are in our they are necessary because they are in our digestive system as well so the sweet taste um which is in our mouth the sour taste is uh, nourishes our lungs the pungent taste nourishes our gut the bitter taste nourishes our um kidney and our gall bladder and uh, astringent taste uh, the intestine the um, big intestine 
and salty taste uh, affects our kidneys so if we have too much salty it is going to so kidney will have to work too much so we need to understand that and reduce the salt so this is ayurveda's understanding the question is how did they know how did they know because this is a very ancient science and it's still applicable to this modern world so they the sages experimented the on their system and they also use meditation as their guide so a lot of this wisdom comes from deep deep understanding of our system and these are the this is so true even today that we can use these principles adapt it to our modern life now you will also um you may ask where this comes from so this wisdom comes from something called sankhya philosophy sankhya philosophy uh, is amazing in sankhya philosophy it is believes that the consciousness had a thought that it want to be many and there was a big bang and out comes the consciousness creative principle or uh, consciousness is called purusha and its cre creative principle is called prakriti and a prakriti it starts working on the purusha's wish of it wants to be many and out of that comes the uh, universe in in the play and this is also uh, we can say the big bang theory uh, the start of the universe was a big sound or big bang and sankhya philosophy go even further and talks about this sound was om so it's really amazing philosophy and all wisdom of ayurveda is deeply based into the wisdom of the universe uh, how universe was created how we are created how everything affects how everything is related to each other so we need to understand that uh, our food can be medicine and the prana we receive from this food prana here it means uh, the life force or energy which we gain from our food to function in this universe so what if our food is completely balanced or uh, thridoshic then when we have balanced food we will function better so what is health according to ayurveda or uh, what is optimal health in general i health health is not just one thing like not just the gut health or your weight or how do you look it's not about that it's about the whole overall human health as well as your connection with the world how you are behaving in this world it is all connected uh, if you are uh, you think that you're quite healthy all the markers are you know up there but then you are in in not in good relationship with yourself or with others then that's going to bring a lot of pain and then again the health is going to topple so ayurveda looks at overall health and uh, sometimes in ayurveda the ayurveda doctors uh, will give the medicine could be go for a long walk or do gardening and these are the ayurvedic way of uh, not necessarily checking the herbs or medicines but you can uh, use all these things as a as a like a physical movements awareness gardening what gardening does is gardening helps us to ground, uh, bring us to grounding connecting with mother earth touching the soil bringing that awareness towards hands and how what are we doing so we are constantly in our uh, mind is constantly wandering so it gives us opportunity to bring it towards the ground and it brings stillness so these are the simple remedies but they are profound remedies so herbs is the last thing used in ayurveda uh, first ayurvedic uh, practitioner will ask you what is uh, how is your gut health like uh, how many times you go in the morning or afternoon is it regular all these things are very important and um, seemingly weird uh, from outside perspective like you know first question is about how many times you go how is is it regular what type of the stools you have things like that all but according to ayurveda this is very important because our gut health our agni 
our digestive fire is is very important for our optimal health now if we have uh, too much of agni our digestive fire will have like a burn holes into our gut that is acidic reaction and if we have too little of that then we are not digesting anything it just sits there and if it is irregular then sometimes we digest and other times nothing is happening so ayurveda understands this and this is why regular steady digestive fire is important now ayurvedic constitutions vata pitta kapha uh, or um airy constitution where the person is very lightweight thin uh very mobile uh, fast speaking dry skin everything is dry in this person uh, hair is dry uh, the vata person is um like a whirlwind they will come in the room do things but they also have crash and burn they are most irregular of the doshas um so for vata person their digestive fire will be irregular as well and they will have a lot of issue like constipation uh they will have like dryness issues so dry, the system dries out um so how what a person can have balanced diet is uh, adding uh cooked food uh adding a little bit oil in the system also on their body because our skin is biggest organ so if they have oil massage that will help as well and also having regular meal at regular times and regular consistency so say for example bowl of um, soup will be really with a teaspoon of uh, ghee or oil of your choice will be really beneficial for what a person in modern world we are also very um, conscious of the fatty food uh, which is good but also we our uh, we need to understand to function uh, at our optimal level we also need good fat and it's not that means they were chugging the the ton of load of fat uh it's just one teaspoon of any good oil ayurveda recommends ghee because ghee is that um you know in ancient time the cows were very much looked after they were smaller cows and the milk produced by them was very limited and also that milk was uh considered amrutam or ne- nectar of the life it was considered very sacred and the sacred milk then uh produced the ghee out of that was also low at the uh bad fat and go- uh, high at good fat and a teaspoon of that in your raw ghee in your food like on your dal or rice uh, dal and rice or on your khichdi um we does tremendous uh, help to of uh, for our brain function for our joints so it is very beneficial to have um, any good raw oil into your diet this helps our digestion process as well because if there is too much dryness in your colon it is going to create a situation of constipation so this kind of like ghee helps to reduce that there are a lot of benefits of having a good raw oil a teaspoon of that in your diet but also please make sure that you talk with your doctor before that if you have any heart condition you need to be very careful with that uh then suggest go with your doctor suggest uh, suggestions um but according to ayurveda um a good uh, ghee a teaspoon of ghee is really beneficial for our system uh, if you are vegan you don't have to follow this you can choose a good oil instead so that will work as well Now let's look at uh, pitta or fiery personality. So fiery personality this person is active they are physically strong um, uh, you know they muscly body uh, well built uh, they can digest anything. But as soon as the pitta person reaches around the age 40 and that's when the digestive fire start little bit dampening little bit reducing and then they start putting on weight so they need to watch that also uh, sometimes they have too much of uh, fire 
and that's why the metal metabolism is very high so they need to watch that that um uh, they need to eat on time if they don't then that could create the issues like acidity and things like that they can also have headaches and stuff like that so they need to maintain their um, diet regularly also uh, having a small amount of food um, maybe a little bit more than vata people you know uh, throughout the day so that they won't burn the acidity won't increase now let's move towards the kapha person kapha person uh, is a very damp fire, uh, fire uh, digestive fire so what happens that they love sweet and um, sugary and fatty things but for their system it's very hard to digest these are the people who you may have heard some people say that or oh, even uh, when i look at the food i put on weight so these are the people who put on weight very quickly and they also uh, have very uh, sluggish uh, digestive fire so for the these people then they need to also understand that um, small quantity um and uh, they can add little bit spices in their uh, food so that the agni the digestive fire will increase a little bit and help uh, this will aid their digestion system uh, so these are the uh, three different uh, uh, doshas and their digestive fires now let's look at does that mean that uh, if family has uh, three different types or mix dosha then what do we do so this is where the concept of tri doshic food where you have balance uh, food for all doshas and this is the beauty of ayurveda like ayurveda understand it's a very practical science so how do we do the tri doshic food so there are recipes uh, which we can uh, follow to make the food tri doshic uh you can go to my uh, website and go to shop and you will find that uh, i have created a beautiful uh, tri doshic recipe program you can uh, take a look at that ayurveda cooking experience with sunita and in that i'm giving uh, six recipes um so you will have welcome video introduction to ayurveda video you will have how to make ghee video which i am giving for free and uh, 20 herbs and spices video again i am giving that for free to help you understand these 20 herbs and spices can do for our system and also pdf for that uh, and also dosha quiz uh, this is all i am giving for free and then uh, six try doshic recipes but uh, also these six recipes will help you to uh, modify so i have given where you can modify and with what so that you're not just getting six recipes but you're getting multiple recipes more than 12 or 13 recipes at once and also the pdf uh, of that with the tips and suggestions and all this is uh, also i also added vegan options so if you for example uh, don't want to use ghee then what can you do so there i have given that option as well so feel free to visit my website go to sunitayoga.com and go to shop and you will find that ayurveda on, online ayurveda cooking experience with sunita uh, click on that and um, i have kept the price very low so that it is quite affordable and if you have any questions about that feel free to email me through my website thank you for being here today i really appreciate you listening to the podcast if you want to listen to on particular topic please let me know by emailing me through my website thank you so much take care bye thank you for tuning in i really appreciate that that you're taking this time out of your day don't forget to subscribe take care bye for now